would probably be book creator because you can look through people's books and see what they're learning, not just what you're learning. And we also like using Showbee because you can save all your work into there and then the next time you go onto the iPads if you haven't finished it you can open it back up. We think other people, different people have different opinions. Some people think Book Creator is easy and then other people think Thingamake is easy. I say Book Creator because you can just go and it shows, it's like it says to create a new book and then it just shows you how to make it and what to do on the beginner's run and it's quite easy so. because it can be you can have fun while you're learning and we also have on Kiddo Hub and you can log into that and they have loads of activities for you to do and if you write in a story then they have um, decorated pictures for you to write on most of the apps have to include subjects as like science and maths and English and art. Um, some apps have got science in there as well and you can choose what um, sort of sub subject you want to do, not just maths and English. My most proud, well I'm most proud of making something on Finling because I can just go back to it easily and I can look what I've done and, and QR codes. I like using the QR codes because it's fun and once you print it out you can scan it again and reveal what you've done again. I also like um, doing presentations on iMovie and Shobi because we did a Japanese presentation using Shobi and it was a video type of thing. Um, we went to the infants a couple of months ago and we taught them how to use the green screen app and some people did they read in books and my little sister did sharks.